could you describe what your most vivid memory of, of the flood was and how that how that day was for you, how it happened? So we had a three month old at the time and uh, I remember the day after we went for a walk down over by the Shouldice Park over here and the water was up almost to the base of that bridge and it was just amazing to see how fast it was flowing through. That day seemed to be fairly normal to begin with and then as the emergency situation developed and we were all told to you know stay home, school's out, work is closed, things are going to be quite different over the next spell of time and then we started to see on television what was really happening to certain portions of the city to Exshaw and Canmore and communities along the river. Brad Creek, I'd gone out that night and Brad Creek was being washed out. My friends were unable to join us, they were stuck, they left, they couldn't get through. Amazing. And then when the immediate crisis had passed but there were still lots of evacuations, we went to look, like lots of people, from Crescent Heights down into the core where it was accessible and everything was quiet and silent and then there was the water which was breathtaking so much of it so powerful and our normally very controlled and organized city was laid low it was impressive and here we are and, and when you when you looked down the hill and you saw the community consumed by the volume of water what were your thoughts how did you feel what to... oh i think everyone is caught between shock and awe, right? So you're shocked for the homeowners and it is just literally awe-inspiring and that's how powerful water is and you had people explaining well the rivers have done this and there's overland flow and then you're starting to think oh no they're going to have insurance nightmares there's going to be hell on earth for them recovering that you know the individual households or the fact that our skyscrapers, our big buildings, were knocked out because all their basements were flooded out or what happened at the Saddle Dome. Amazing! I mean, there's no other word for it. Well, my first um, sight was when we were flying into Calgary and we saw all the streets, you know, flooded with water. And then once I'd landed and came out for my daily walk um, down along the river, like, I remember the trees just bent like right down to the ground and mud every place and it was it was quite devastating actually. I was at my my son's place babysitting my grandson and my son was heading off to a gig in the downtown area and when oh and I was expecting to be there the whole evening and they suddenly came home again said we've been flooded out so they were playing in a, a tavern somewhere in downtown. They'd been flooded out, so they said, Mom, uh, my son said, Mom, you better get home and check your place. So I drove home, expecting not to be even able to get into my place, but I, I could. And I thought everyone was inside, but they were all gone because there had been a helicopter with a megaphone saying, evacuate. And uh, I, I came to my intersection up here and the police said, well, you really should evacuate, but if you go, it's your own, it's up to you. you it's your responsibility if you get flooded. Right. So I went, but in the overnight, I came out onto the bridge three or four times overnight, just to make sure it wasn't coming up to right over the bridge here, because it would have had to come up higher than that to get to my place. So yeah, it was horrific. <laughs> it was really, it was so noisy, it was like a, like a huge avalanche coming through town. It was really terrifying. Well, I can't really remember the day of the flood, but I remember there started to be talk about us being evacuated. We lived in a really close-knit neighborhood in Inglewood, and everyone was talking about how we'd possibly be evacuated. And people started to talk about whether they were going to defy the evacuation order or whether they're going to evacuate. And then a couple of days later, I remember driving down Deerfoot and over a part where you have a vantage point of the river and it just took your breath away, the amount of water. I mean, we'd been hearing about the flooding and the rains on the news and a friend and I walked over to the 
brow of the hill uh, down, uh, you know, south of Beaumont Park. And uh, it was pouring rain. We were wearing rain gear. We still got soaked to the skin. And we stood there and watched the water come up and up and up until it actually went over uh, the bridge into Bowness. And we were just totally stunned by the whole thing. So uh, that was my introduction to the flood. <laughs> And when you saw the water approaching up the bridge, keep going up, keep going up. Exactly. Uh, you see it swallowing the community around it. Yes. How did how did you feel? What did you think? What was what was going through what was going through your mind? Oh, well, it was shocking. I mean, I've lived in Calgary almost all my life and never seen flooding like that. I lived over here for about 16 years, so um, you know, to look down across the river into Bowness and see, you know, you can understand kind of coming up the river banks and those first houses along the edge, but to watch it go higher and higher and higher and way into the community, it was really shocking. That was not something I've ever seen in Calgary before.